What happens when a US pilot destroys the capture cable on an aircraft carrier? If the arresting cable were to break on a US aircraft carrier during flight operations, it could potentially lead to a dangerous situation, but the carrier's crew is well trained to handle such emergencies. The arresting cable is a critical component used to rapidly decelerate and stop landing aircraft on the carrier deck. During flight operations, an aircraft carrier is a floating military airbase and a symbol of power projection. It serves as a strategic platform for launching and recovering a variety of naval aircraft including fighter jets, reconnaissance planes, and helicopters. The primary mission of an aircraft carrier is to support and protect the fleet, strike targets in distant locations, and provide humanitarian assistance in times of need. The flight deck of an aircraft carrier is one of the most dangerous workplaces in the world. It is a tightly choreographed dance of aircraft movements, deck crew, and sophisticated equipment. Landing a high-performance fighter jet on a relatively small, moving deck at sea is a remarkable feat, and the arresting cable system plays a vital role in this process. In this extensive discussion, we will explore the anatomy of an aircraft carrier, the significance of the arresting cable, the potential consequences of a cable break, the safety measures in place to mitigate risks, and the training and preparedness of carrier personnel. We will also delve into the broader context of carrier operations, technological advancements, and future prospects for naval aviation. One, the anatomy of an aircraft carrier. To understand the significance of the arresting cable and its potential implications, let's take a closer look at the structure and layout of an aircraft carrier. 1.1 Flight Deck. The flight deck is the critical area where aircraft take off and land on the carrier. It is a flat, decked surface that extends the length of the carrier and is located on top of the hull. The size of the flight deck varies among different aircraft carriers, but it typically spans around 4.5 acres on a Nimitz-class carrier, which is approximately 330 meters (1,082 feet) long. 1.2 arresting gear. The arresting gear consists of a series of cables that run across the flight deck, mounted on a system of sheaves and hydraulic cylinders. The primary function of the arresting gear is to decelerate and stop landing aircraft, particularly high-performance fighter jets, during the trap process. The trap is the act of an aircraft's tailhook engaging one of the arresting cables, allowing the aircraft to be safely stopped in a short distance after landing. 1.3 Tailhook and Trailing Edge Flaps Carrier-based aircraft are equipped with a tailhook, a metal hook located under the rear of the aircraft that extends during the landing approach. When an aircraft is on final approach to land, the pilot lowers the tailhook to engage one of the arresting cables upon touchdown. Additionally, the aircraft's trailing edge flaps are extended to increase lift and maintain a low landing speed. 2. The Importance of the Arresting Cable The arresting cable is a mission-critical component of an aircraft carrier's flight operations. It allows high-speed aircraft to safely land on the carrier deck, bringing them to a rapid stop in a controlled manner. Without the arresting cable, carrier-based aircraft would not be able to operate effectively, severely limiting the carrier's combat capabilities. 2.1 Control Deceleration Carrier-based aircraft, such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet or the E-2 Hawkeye, are designed for high-speed operations. During carrier landings, these aircraft approach the deck at speeds well above typical landing speeds of land-based aircraft. The arresting cable provides the means to safely decelerate these fast-moving aircraft, enabling them to land within the limited deck space available. 2.2 Deck Utilization the arresting cable system allows an aircraft carrier to operate a continuous flight cycle known as the flight operations tempo. This cycle involves launching and recovering aircraft in rapid succession. 
ensuring a constant presence of airborne assets for various missions, including combat patrols, strike missions, and reconnaissance flights. 2.3 Flexibility and Versatility The arresting cable system enables the use of a wide range of aircraft on the carrier, including fixed-wing fighter jets, electronic warfare planes, and airborne early warning aircraft. This versatility enhances the carrier's ability to respond to diverse threats and carry out various missions as needed. 3. Potential Consequences of a Cable Break While arresting cables are designed and tested to withstand tremendous stresses, they are not invulnerable to failure. A cable break during flight operations could lead to several potential consequences, each with its associated risks. 3.1 Aircraft Mishaps If the arresting cable were to break during a landing attempt, the aircraft's tailhook would not be able to engage the cable properly. This could result in the aircraft overshooting the available deck space, potentially colliding with parked aircraft, equipment, or personnel on the flight deck. Such mishaps could lead to damage to the aircraft deck or, in the worst case scenario, loss of life. 3.2 Runaway Aircraft In some cases, a broken cable might not effectively stop an aircraft. This situation is known as a runaway aircraft, where the aircraft continues down the flight deck at high speed, unable to decelerate sufficiently. In such situations, emergency barricades and safety nets are deployed to help stop the aircraft. 3.3 Flight Deck Crew Safety Flight deck crew members are highly skilled and trained professionals who work in close proximity to aircraft during launch and recovery operations. A cable break could pose a significant risk to these crew members' safety, especially if an aircraft veers off course during landing and endangers those on the flight deck. 3.4 Operational Disruptions a cable break could interrupt flight operations, leading to a temporary suspension of landing aircraft. This, in turn, might impact the carrier's ability to maintain its flight operations tempo and respond to time-sensitive missions or emergencies. 4. Safety Measures and Emergency Protocols Aircraft carrier operations are inherently risky, but extensive safety measures and emergency protocols are in place to mitigate potential hazards and respond effectively to emergencies. Carrier personnel receive rigorous training to handle various scenarios, including cable breaks. Military Combat News Newspaper brings you the latest breaking news videos and explainers from the UK and around the world be a loyal subscriber of Military Battle News and press the bell to be first on our news.